I want to just sit here with the sander and sand all of these. That sounds like the most relaxing and amazing way I could possibly spend my day. Are you hearing this? Are you hearing, are you hearing what I'm hearing? I love sanding. I think you're the only person in the entire history of forever that enjoys sanding. I don't care. I love sanding. Do you love or hate sanding? Let us know in the comments. Because I think there's more people like her out there. We just don't ever hear from them. So let us know in the comments. Do you love sanding or do you hate sanding? Welcome back. This week, Bruce eats a treat. Davis plays a song. <laughs> oh, and we work on our serving boards. Yeah, those two. <laughs> All right, let's go. I don't care. I moved to Texas because I hate the cold. We plain sanded the edges and rounded over the corners of these boards. They're just sitting with a finish from the planer. The next step is obviously sanding. And I was just about ready to start sanding and I, I just stopped. I didn't want to, I didn't want to do it the wrong way. And that was really frustrating for me. I'm the kind of person I cannot sit still, but I sat on these for like four days because I was too afraid to just try sanding. And so then I realized, hey dummy, why don't you just take a stack of 10 boards or 20 boards and just do some experiments. Try to time yourself and see what works. But I'm just gonna do a little experiment with just a couple stacks of these boards just to get a sanding procedure down. That way we can train an employee and there's no ambiguity. Even if they've never touched a sander before, they can pick it right up follow the procedure and it's efficient for the business as well as easy for the employee to master. So normally what I would do is I consider, a, if you've got fresh sharp tool blades, I would consider the first pass off the machine as being sanded to 120 grit. Unless you've got some tear out or some major issues with the figure of the wood, really everything is about a 120, 150 grit finish right off the tool if your blades are sharp. Uh, sometimes better, sometimes worse, but you get the gist. So I don't think I'm gonna waste my time sanding to 120 or 150. I'm just gonna jump straight to 220 and then normally I would slap on a 320 sanding disc 
and just continue sanding. That's what I'm doing here. And then I'm gonna finish it with some beeswax and mineral oil mixture. I still have to nail down this mixture. I'm not gonna focus on that in this video. Finishing is a whole other monster in itself to tackle. Just know that I'm using some rough combination of beeswax and mineral oil. All right, well, 19 and a half minutes. Uh, a little longer than I thought it would take to sand five of those boards. Uh, I'm gonna review the footage and see how long I left those to dry because that's not gonna be, it would not take 19 minutes times 20 to get all 100 boards done because the drying time is not gonna compound every five boards. All right, so I just did the math. Wait, I need, hang on. I feel like I need glasses if I'm gonna do math on the whiteboard. So what I found was that sanding at 220, it took me seven minutes to do all five boards. Now keep in mind, this was all, this is also the first sanding. So there was no grain raised, but I had to do the edges, I had to do the profiles. It only took me three minutes at the 320 after raising the grain. So I completely took out all the time of spraying the water, letting it dry, and then flipping them over. I completely left that alone because I've got another solution that'll help with finishing. I can't do this anymore. But I'm also considering how much faster it's gonna be just to do it at 220. If I were to just take it straight off the tool with you know the 120 grit right off the tool and just spray it with water and then sand at 220, would that do the same thing? Like, because I don't, I really just don't think the difference between 220 and 320 is good enough to justify the time spent, that extra five or so minutes to sand at 320 when the oil or the wax in the oil is gonna just fill in those cracks anyway. I just, I really don't see the difference. Ugh, so much math going into this. So yeah, I wanna see the difference between the finish of these two boards. So I'm gonna find another five, three maple, two ash, just so it's the same wood species. I wanna see if I can just raise the grain straight away before I ever sand. So tool finish with raised grain at 220 and see what that looks like. It's been overnight, I let these dry. Okay, so this is the stack that was only raised the grain and sanded at 220. This is the stack that was raised the grain and sanded at 320. I can't tell a difference. Uh, there were a, one or two boards, I think, in this stack that I just didn't sand the one side of, um, which might explain why we were 30 seconds faster on sanding these than sanding these. Let's look at some of the maple boards. No, I can't. Oh, that's the one I've missed. Wow, maple is silky smooth on both of them. I mean, across the same species of wood, I can't tell a difference. That's amazing. It's just so smooth. 
It smells like honey and babies. Hmm. Yeah, um, that's awesome. That's that's really great news. Mentally, I was just expecting a difference and then I was gonna have to try to figure out a way to justify the extra time spent sanding to get the nicer finish, but they feel the exact same. Okay, so I'm gonna try to maybe wrap my head around why they both feel exactly the same smoothness as each other, even though one was sanded at a higher grit. So if this is the 220, the surface looks kind of like this. And then the 320, I'm assuming, looks maybe a little smoother when you zoom in and look at the surface as a whole. When you put finish on, this waxy oily finish that we're using is going to fill in some of these gaps right here. So all this area right in here gets filled in with wax and oil and then it sort of hardens a little bit. Whereas the 320, it's pretty much just one smooth layer over the top, not a whole lot of gap filling or significantly less gap filling than in the 220. And once that wax dries and hardens, you feel the same smoothness of the wax on the top. I know this is true for film finishes because the film builds up, but it's the same thing with the wax. It just gets smooth. If anything, the more use that this 220 gets, there's more, there's more finish on here to fill in the gaps. So the finish might last longer. Additionally, as this gets worn down, there's going to be more finish there, but these high spots are going to poke through the finish and get worn down over time. Not only is there more finish, it's going to last longer and over time it's going to smooth itself out. Whereas the 320, once it gets used, most of the finish is going to be gone other than what's been absorbed into the top layer, which is amazing. The fact that, that it's cheaper to produce, it's easier to make for the woodworker, it's a better product for the customer. And that never happens, it's a win-win. So it's awesome that we can just spray these right off the tool with water and then let it dry. And then when we get around to sanding, just hit it with 220, put finish on it and you'll be done. It's not cutting a corner, you're actually delivering a better product to the customer. Wow, that's crazy that conventional wisdom of just sanding to the highest grit possible doesn't play out at scale when you're talking about building a good product for customers. That, that's why we're doing these tests. These tests are done just so we can discover things like that where it's actually better to skip a few steps to give a better product to the client. It's cheaper for us to produce and it's just a win-win. Wow, that's, that's awesome. Feel any difference, you don't see any difference. It's literally just how long you spend sanding. And if you're somebody that enjoys sanding, you know, more power to you if that's what you want to do on your free time, but I'm trying to make money here. If you're going to sand these to 320, it's going to be an additional three minutes for every uh, five boards. So you multiply that by 20, because there's, you know, 20 sets of five and 100, and you're looking at an extra 60 minutes. That math was easy. Uh, you're looking at an extra 60 minutes of labor. So if you're paying an employee, that's $15 thrown out the window right there. I mean, this is nothing compared to the five grand you're gonna make if you sell them all at 50 bucks. But still, it's $15 that you're throwing out of the window and you're tying up that employee from working on something else. Even if the 220 grit boards take more finish, it's not gonna be $15 worth of finish. Quick announcement, my buddy Will, he's the one that like opened my mind to entrepreneurship and doing crazy stuff and pushing your limits and all that stuff. He's got a nice Mustang. He's gonna wrap it purple if he gets 10,000 subscribers this month. So I'm gonna play a little quick channel trailer for him. Uh, go subscribe if you're interested in cars and models and stuff like that. Anyway, I just wanna see his Mustang turn purple. So go check that out if you don't mind. I believe in flow. Becoming one with a perfectly designed GT2 RS bombing through canyons in Malibu. When you can't see the difference between you, the car, and the road. I believe in speed. Tingles shooting through white knuckles when you go 0 to 130 in a V10 Performante. The storm of an engine as it claps thunder across Pacific Coast Highway. And I believe in sharing. Some people like to use exotics as a way to separate themselves from others. A status. Me? Ever since I was 13, I wanted to live in LA, drive cars, and share them with as many people as possible. And that's the point of this channel. My name is Will Collette, and this is Life Worth Sharing.
and it loosens them so you can pop the wheel up. And the 488. Um... Let's do it. No traffic, it was wide open, four lanes. We're going. The car is so much fun. We've got Coldplay playing. Because it's an emotional moment. All right, so Jenny's back, which is great news for me. If you can't tell. Um, anyway, she doesn't know what I've done with the serving board. She knows I've kind of worked on them, mm -hmm. but she doesn't really know exactly what we've done. So I've got two piles of boards here, and I want you to tell me which ones were sanded to 220 and which ones were sanded to 320. They've both been finished. Okay. But I want you to tell me which stack is which. Ooh. This is like silk, so this has got to be 320. Okay. Ooh, that's hard. Ooh, I definitely, so I was going through this stack and I was like, this must be the 320 stack. I was like convinced, but now that I'm feeling this one, they're both, they're this, both smooth, this might they? be the 320 stack. Wait, wait, wait. I don't know. I can't, I honestly, I can't tell. Do you know how I tell the difference? How? The only way that I know is that on one of the 220 boards, I've missed sanding once. So this was the 220 stack. Uh, oh. So all I know is that I forgot to sand this face of this one. That's the only reason I know that this mm. is the 220 stack. Other than that, I can't tell. Yeah, I can't tell because I, I was, I was going through this one. I was like, oh, this has to be 320. And then I felt this one and I was like, oh no, I was totally wrong. That's got to be 320. I did the math. You didn't see any of that yet, but I did the math on the whiteboard. It would be an extra three minutes to sand them all at three for five boards to sand them at 320. Yeah. So we're saving an hour of sanding time by just stopping at 220 after we've raised the grain okay. and then finishing them. So we're saving money and then honestly, it put it takes more finish theoretically on the 220 boards than the 320 boards. So we're actually delivering the board with more, more finish, finish to the customer so it'll last longer before it needs refinishing. So you're taking it straight from the planer, raising Spraying the grain. Spraying with water, sanding. And then sanding to 220. And then finishing. putting finish on it. Okay. So that's gonna be our new process. So you get to sand the other 80 I'm or so other 90 excited. boards. Which means when we do this again, we can just take them right out of the planer. You spray it spray. while you put it in a stack. Right, and then it dries. And then when we and get around to sanding, to, yep. Yeah, yep. okay. Got so, it, that yeah. checks. So that's our sanding process. Next like up it. is we get to figure out what we're gonna do for finish. So yeah, that's what I've been up to this week. Cool. While you've been gone. Since you've been gone. This hurts. <laughs> Are you trying to hurt me? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Did you miss me? Did you miss me? I'll take that as a yes. <sighs> All right, well, sorry for not putting a video out last week. We've just been just hard at Busy. work. We've been working on these serving boards. Yeah. And we're also, we're completely overhauling all of our programs. We're yep. adding a couple more, but we're fixing the old ones. So the old programs are going away. They will be no more, but they're going to be replaced with better versions. I, right. It's not like the old versions were wrong or anything. We're just revamping them, making them better for you guys. And um, even we've learned a lot since we put out the last yeah. program. So we've learned a ton just in the last year. So we're going to add more to it polish them up a little more. They're We've definitely taken, more dense. You've taken, really you dense. guys have given us amazing feedback, those of you that have bought the program. So yeah. uh, we're gonna take your feedback, we're gonna build the programs a little bit better and then re-release them and hopefully they'll be better for much longer. This so, program. when are we releasing? We are gonna be releasing them on Black Friday. Yes. Heavily discounted. Yes. We picked the, the best one and we're just gonna give that to you guys at $5. Yeah. It, it's, it was our favorite, so we were making it and we're like, oh, this is just the one that I wish we knew before we started. Like, out of all the courses, I wish this information was what was told to us before we started. So we're like, you know what? 
share it. Like, why not? Because so. guys, yeah, we want to make a little bit of money on the programs, but that's not our goal. Our goal is yeah. really just to watch you guys win and do better at sales and selling your furniture. So. Uh, that one's only gonna be five bucks and the reason it's still gonna be five bucks instead of free is because you pay attention When you pull your wallet out you're gonna absorb the information much much better if you've got a little bit of money on the line You got some some skin in the game. Yeah, you got some skin in the game So our goal like we're not gonna make our money back on that program at no, five dollars not at all. For the we, time we put into it. No way Jose. We just want you guys to understand how important the information yeah. is and just to take it seriously so yeah, so if all the other stores let you down on Black Friday, <laughs> we will not let you down on Black Friday because like we said, five bucks. And if you follow us on social media, we're gonna be blasting this for yes. about a week straight while we do the sale. You but will know about it. <laughs> sale won't last forever, but uh, yeah, we're just gonna offer them heavily discounted as we re-release them. And a huge thank you to the guys in the stud stack. Yeah. They've been beta testing our new yeah. program, so it's been really helpful to get their feedback before we even launch. So yeah. you guys are gonna get a better product for it in the end, so. It's been a party in the stud stack, that's for sure. Right. Anyway, thanks again for watching and uh, we'll catch you on the next video. Yeah. Now I get to sand. Now I get to sand. <laughs> yes. I'm happy to have you back. Aww. I'm happy to be back with my serving boards. I'm just kidding. Don't they smell like honey and babies? <laughs> Maybe the finish. Here, if it's fresh finish, take a whiff of that. <laughs> yeah. Smells like honey and babies. Yeah. <laughs> it's not weird, it's just what it smells like.